All right, for the right hand side of the skin, we'll be adding in our battery level, our battery bar, our Gmail, our text messages, as well as two images, which will be used for Gmail and text messages. Let's start off with those images. They look quite ugly, so we'll get those out the way. Our image one will move over there, and then we'll scroll across to image, because now we can change that ugly image. Sorry, you see, CW, I don't mean ugly. I just mean not correct, not appropriate. So we'll change it to our Google icons, which I've provided in the link below. Change it to mail, and boom, look at that. We have mail. Now we'll just change the scale to make it a bit bigger, like that. And you can change the position. Great. Now we'll move on to our next icon, image, remember? And we'll go image. I always use pick, pick, quick pick because it's quite fast. And for our text messages, I'll use this. Why not? Do that. We'll move it over there. Once again, change the scale. There we have it. Alrighty. Finally, we'll be adding in our battery bar, which we'll add over here. As you can see, it looks a bit weird for now. So we'll change our color to white and our angle to negative 90 because that rotates it making it perpendicular. Then we'll change our battery color, level color, because, well, don't want it to be those ugly colors, but black's pretty cool. So we'll change all of those, because at different levels, you can change it to different colors. How neat is that? All right, then we can change our width, as well as our height. All right, so we change the width right here. As you can see, it changes quite weirdly. So we'll leave it like that. And our height's quite nice, because that makes it Nice, nice little tubby one. And then we want to change our base roundness. So that changes the outside roundness. And then our height. This makes the height of the, I know it is a bit weird, but it's the height of the inside the battery. And then we can make that a bit round as well. So we make that height a bit more. Next, what we'll be adding is the notifications for each of these. So first we'll start off with Gmail. And a lot of people always get confused with this, so we'll make it blue. And as you can see, it's got so long. People don't know what's going on. So next what we'll do is scroll all the way to the end. Go account, choose your account, and go label, and choose inbox. If you want inbox or outbox, but inbox, inbox makes more sense. All right, position. Now we can move that around like that. This is still rough. Don't worry, I'll provide you a much neater one. In the link below next we want our battery level there it is put it there change the color that I'd have to go sort again sometimes it does that there's our battery level now you can always go to suffix and change it to add a little percentage like that and there we have our battery and finally we'll add our text messages which is quite easy just select text messages, put it over there, change the color, boom, like that. Let's just change that position. Obviously you can just change the sizes, it's more or less whatever one you want. But there we have our tutorial completed. So whichever one you want. Finally we'll be adding our hotspots, which is the coolest part of our UCCW, well, personally. Okay, great, finally we'll be adding in our hotspots mode. Start by selecting object and we'll go into hotspots. Now obviously we don't have any right now, so let's start off with our first one. And as you can see, if we just tap like that, it brings it up. So we'll do it for the clock, we'll put it over the clock and you can obviously change your width and height if you need to. So let's put it there. And you'll select hotspots now and go choose app and now you can choose any app that you want but let's go clock for now so i'm not going to show you all of them but that's just how you do each one and then obviously we can also choose our uccw option and go launch alarm dialer etc add calendar events nice little additions to that once you've added your hotspot like that you want to choose first i'd suggest saving it and go hotspots mode on. Now it says enable hotspots mode and it will take you out of it. So now if you want to edit it again, 
you'll have to go into your app drawer and change your UCCW from there and go hotspots mode off. And then let's just test it out. Let's tap the time, brings up the time, brings up the tap for the date, brings up our calendar. Easy stuff. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry it's been a bit long, but a lot of people want an in depth tutorial on how exactly how to use this amazing widget. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel as there'll be many more widget tutorials and app tutorials to come, as well as other Android home screen tutorials. Thank you very much, guys.